Tropical Storm Norma develops in the Eastern Pacific Ocean as a threat to become a major hurricane. It is Tiffany's content and we definitely have a major hurricane threat on our hand for Cabo San Lucas and Manzanillo, Mexico where Norma developed. As you can see, it is definitely coming in and it looks like the National Hurricane Center is projecting that it's going more to make landfall in Cabo San Lucas. And you can see right on the terrain of Mexico as well, some of the tropical storm conditions. Some are even taking it to a category four. And you can see other models taking it to a category three, two, one, and even tropical storm storm conditions but it would definitely be coming in here is the time stamps from the national hurricane center now let's look at some spaghetti models and as you can see most of the spaghetti models do have that center line going into Cabo San Lucas and this one even have it going over towards the Mexico area but definitely still making landfall as you can see that deep center line have it right on the tip of Cabo San Lucas so now let's look at a zoom earth here and you can see all of that yellow is the thunderstorms the lightning and definitely causing tropical storm like conditions and you can see that purple is starting to come in and that's even more of a threat that can take it to a category four hurricane so right now when it gets to that yellow it's a category one and then the orange is gets to a category two so right there you see that it would definitely be picking up strength she moves west northwest at 10 miles an hour with a 40 miles an hour wind speed and the wind bands extends to about 140 miles so that's what's taken over to manzanillo mexico definitely definitely a big major hurricane that can affect multiple areas of mexico so now let's look at some of the models the first model we're going to show you here is the euro model and you can see here on the euro that norma would definitely be moving out but then there's a little sneaky way that she comes right back in on this euro model and you can see the other one forming right underneath her just like max and lydia all over again but look at that it goes out but then watch how it sneaks right back in to manzanillo mexico and threaten the high terrains over there mudslides flash flood warnings and at the ec fast model you're going to see that it takes it as well up to those higher terrains of mexico on the southwest coast so now we're going to look at the gfs model and the gfs model has definitely took it right into Puerto Barata. Now you can see on the icon, icon is keeping it more like a tropical storm, but it's making it seem like it's gonna stay in sea and just, you know, like meander around sea as a front picks it up. So, but still affects that Cabo San Lucas area with some rain, lots of rain. So um, again, it's all about the possibilities of these fronts that are coming down and you see the highs and lows there. And now let's look at the GFS again, just to be sure that we're seeing it's going right into that Puerto Barata area and right into the San Lucas area as well on this model. So we are just and look, it even went into the high terrains and went back into our golf course, affecting Texas. And then it's going to take it up to our United States. And that's going to cause a, a snowstorm. We'll talk about that later. On the nav gem system here, you're going to see that it takes it right into the higher terrains as well. And you see that that other one is also coming in, but more as a tropical storm. The JMA is also taken into Cabo San Lucas in the higher terrains, but as a tropical storm with lots of rain. So that's not good either. The CMC Canadian model is definitely taking it into Cabo San Lucas as a hurricane, as well as the high terrains of Mexico and then you see that other one forming down there as well you know I'm keeping my eye on it for you everyone so just make sure you're staying tuned to Tiffany's content now let's look at the hurricane models HWRF parent shows you that it would definitely start forming more as a hurricane now these are the hurricane models so these are the more likely possibilities and scenarios that can happen during the outcome of Norma. So again, taking it right into San Lucas and definitely coming with a big splash as a hurricane. Again, this is the H-Mon and she is definitely 
making it a big splash as well. You see those purples, that's taking it more into an intense hurricane so we are definitely keeping an eye on just how strong she will become most models are keeping it within that two and three category right into Cabo San Lucas and you see either way it's going to be a lot of damage so make sure you're sharing this information this is the HAFSA model and look at all that purple look at the intensity it's definitely and even that burgundy there it's definitely taking it to the highest potential where you can even see a category four out of Norma. So everyone, make sure you're checking your local listings. Tropical Storm Norma has developed and can possibly be a major hurricane. My 193 subscribers and myself would like to thank all of the meteorologists and other broadcasters who are bringing attention to Tropical Storm Norma. Check your local listings. It's Tiffany's content. Like, share, subscribe.